holy, 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 your Lord, your Lord God Almighty, early in the morning, my song shall rise to thee, holy, holy, thou art holy, you're merciful, and so mighty, God in three persons, Blessed Trinity, you are God in three persons. You're the Blessed Trinity. God, God in three persons, you're the blessed Trinity. Look, saints, I want to deal with this right here in Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Look at this. Look what it says right here. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Look what it says in verse Look what it says in verse um, in verse three. It says that there's there's a time to kill, and there's a time to heal. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to kill, and a time to heal. And look what it says. There's a time for you to break down and there's a time for you to build up. So I, I want to focus on these two things. Firstly, killing and breaking down, killing and breaking down. Think about this. There is a specific time where you're supposed to have murder on your mind concerning things that are in activation, that you are supposed to deactivate it yourself. They are supposed to be deactivated by you. You're supposed to stop their existence from continuing. You're supposed to kill it. The word kill represents that something was in operation. It was in mobility. It was in liveliness. It had oxygen. It had functionality. It had energy, and you removed its existence. The time to kill is where God gives you power to revamp your expectation. If you take a note, write that down. The time to kill is where God gives you power to revamp your expectation. You can't kill anything until your expectation comes into apostolic order. My goodness. My goodness. Your understanding of the order of God or what you should expect, once you allow that area to be surrendered to the Lord Jesus, you receive beautiful harmony with the beautiful pictures of the spirit. If you take a note, write that down. Beautiful unity with truth allows beautiful pictures to flow in my mind. If you take a note, write that down. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful unity with the spirit cause with, with truth causes beautiful pictures to flow in my mind. Are you catching that? Beautiful unity with the truth causes beautiful pictures to flow in my mind. So think about this. 
when you are in the time to kill, the Holy Ghost, he supplies a grace to you so that you could tarnish expectation that was wrong. Let me give you an example. And this is so deep. When Abram had a child with Hagar, Abram thought in his mind that Ishmael could be his successor, his promised child. And remember, God is still saying, I'm going to give you a child. I'm going to give you a promised child. So, so Abram's expectation had to be shifted by apostolic order. My goodness. You hearing me? You hearing me? Not only Abraham, but Sarai. Saints, the Bible said Hagar went and ran from Sarah and an angel came to her, showed her where water was and then said, go back to where you ran from. Go back and submit yourself. Just look at this. Not only was Sarah's expectation needed to be shifted, but also Hey, God's my God. You, you never heard that like that. You never heard that like that. You never heard that like that. Hey, God's expectation had to be rebuked because she had an expectation too. That's why she left because they was no longer meeting her expectation. But the angel said, get rid of your expectation so that you could find submission in the time to kill, you got to get rid of your expectations so you can submit yourself. My God, I just, <laughs> my God. Ooh. My God, did you? In, in, in the time to kill, you got to get rid of your expectations for you to discover submission. Is the Hagar principle. <whistles> See, in the time to kill, God starts showing you an unorthodox and an awkward dimension of dealing with how do I locate peace with God? Because peace with God is not, I have pictures in my mind. And so it better come to pass or I ain't going to be happy. It better happen like this or I ain't going to be happy. That, you can't have peace with God like that. So in the time to kill, you actually got to kill all these false narratives that you have built up inside of yourself because you was operating in a little vain imagination there. God going to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ask or think according to the power that works in you. But you got to make sure that satanic power is not working in you. Make sure that is the power of the Holy Ghost, the power of the information of God, the power of what he's teaching you, the power of what he's mentoring you to become, the power of what he's training you to see. Because if you let the right power work in you, you're going to have everything that will satisfy you in abundance.